Another one here on strings four, three, and two, and one of my favorites, is taking the ideas that you've already got, basically, and transferring those notes, the same notes, strings three and two, frets four and five, and as we move down, do exactly the same thing. That's a nice movement done. Again, fingering wise, you may prefer three and four. Sometimes I'll stretch, it's quite a stretch. Okay, let's insert that one. Lower. Okay. Now, the E chord in its makeup will also give us the top two strings open. Such a useful thing to get low, high. We can also look at the, the makeup of the chord again. The, the D form and what we've discussed earlier, the double stops. Any two notes from our chord and we can half step them. Okay, let's put a few of those in. I'll start with just the open the open E to see the, the um, what it'll add to the chord. say at this point as well on the four string I just overlooked that you can very very common the, the tremolo on the referred to as a trill probably that can be effective also let's try one of those Now let's insert some of the double stops. Okay. play them the same way twice. <clears throat> uh, once you practice them, uh, they become just little additives that you can put in on top of the, the groove, basically. So, so far we, we've, we've got the, the blues and E. We've just looked at the one chord, which was our E chord. And the three chords in the blues, and the basic blues, would be moving to our four chord, which would be A7, and our five chord, B7. If you're not familiar with these voicings, I'll just give them to you. Open A, bar with your first finger on the second fret, strings four, three, and two. And with your third finger, that's a nice simple voicing. Again, these can be slid. And the B seventh, it's derived from our C seventh shape, just moved down. And the fingering would be finger two, second fret, fifth string, finger one, first fret, fourth string, third finger on the second fret, third string, and we'll pop in, this is an option, but we can pop in our fourth finger, second fret, first string. And 
another nice variation on the, the five chord here may be a straight nine chord, which is same fingering basically, second finger, second fret, first finger, and we bar three with our third finger here. That's a nice, especially for an ending. Just drag that. That takes us nicely home to the one chord. At the finish of some blues, they, they'll add uh, what they call a raise nine chord, which is just a variation again. And again, if you can spot the fourth finger now on the third fret, so we're the nine and a raise nine. So just simply raise up the fourth finger, one fret. So very powerful chord for a finish. Let's just take it to the end of a blues. So let's look at some of the options we have then on the four chord, our A chord. A lot of the stuff that we've just um, learnt on our E chord can be just shifted over one string. So a lot of that will still apply. We still have our roll, only now it's on the fifth string. We've our open A. We can still stretch up. We can still. the 5th fret 4th string, just similar to the movement we did in E, just moved over a fret. Let me build it up gradually again the way we did on the, the 1 chord. Again there was the open. So what I would urge you to do there would be to experiment with a lot of the ones we've already learnt on the one chord, just simply moving them over. <coughs> Your ear will tell you which ones sound best. Um, a few other just chordal movements here. This is a beautiful chord here where we can have it the seventh chord and we can suspend it. I'll just give you the finger for that one. Open A, fourth ring, fourth finger, sorry, on the fifth fret on the 4th string, 1st finger on the bar here, 2nd fret, 3rd string, and our 2nd finger on the 3rd fret on the 2nd string. That gives us a nice suspension. So that's a nice movement. With this same shape we can simply move down the 4th finger one fret to the fourth fret and have that chord and open. It's almost like a D chord over A. Let me try inserting a few of those into the groove now. I'll, I'll start with the one chord. Sorry, our four chord, and back to the one. Now on the five chord, uh, in this open position, we're slightly restricted. I'll give you a few options on that, but we're going to have to change the um, the form of the chord. We can slide on this, even top two strings, sixth interval like that, or the full chord, ninth, or seventh. Now if we wanted to use a lot of the ideas that we used on the one and the four, we would have to change the form to the A form of B. Here we are, pure straight B chord, first finger, second fret, fifth string, and a bar with the third finger on the fourth fret, strings four, three, and two. To turn it into a dominant seventh, we simply, same bar, finger three, 
and finger four on the fourth fret of the second string. It gives us that sound. Again, very similar to an open A7. Just moved up and barred. We can suspend it by moving to the fifth fret, second string. Okay. So this is going to be our template to move for the shuffle. Okay. Now there's a, a movement here that's very, very common. I'll play it for you and then I'll break it down slowly. Once we arrive at this point, we can add all the same things that we did in E, the roll, the stretch, the pull. This chromatic rundown. So let's get this movement in place. Play the chord. Now we're going to target this note on the 5th fret and we're going to slide to the 6th fret. That's the 3rd of the chord, we're going to slide it to this, so... Just get used to that movement. Chord, target, slide, fill in the chord. Again. movement. Now once we arrive at this point, all the material we've looked at here, the sliding, the roll, the pull, the chromatic rundown, anything we can think of <coughs> is sitting under our fingers now. So there's quite a lot of small units that you can practice individually and, and get smooth. And as you become proficient with them, set up the groove, sim simple, simple as you, you can. I'll give you an example. Let's say you were working on these double stops. So you set the groove up. And you insert the, the idea until it becomes a smooth, just, um, just part of your vocabulary. And do that with each of them. Uh, some of them may be new to you, some of them you may have already known. And what I'll do now is I'll play through a complete 12 bar um, at a slowish tempo and I'll, I'll insert probably more than I would do if I was playing um, just to show you the application of it. just a few added. <laughs> 